This is a snitch, Hershey Park. I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. <laughs> Hello, fellow, uh, fellow candy fans. <laughs> I too like your sweet treats. As a Pennsylvania native, Hershey has been an iconic place my entire life. It's the sweetest place on earth, but inside it resides a single resident that we're gonna focus on today. That's right, I'm talking about the sweetest boy on earth, the Hershey bar. Here's a brief history of how Hershey Park even came to be. The park first opened in 1903 and was considered a picnic park for all of Hershey's employees. It provided a nice leisurely area for everyone to relax when the town wasn't making candy. It developed over the next 60 plus years as a regional amusement park with pay per experience rides, including the 1935 Wildcat roller coaster that literally just closed in 2022. But by 1971, the regional amusement park had over 25 rides and began a five stage process to transform it into a fully fledged Hershey themed park. The Hershey Park community is alive and well. The YouTube is full of them, like Hershey Park Enthusiast, who has an amazing documentary about the history of Hershey Park, which I'd highly recommend you check out. So what makes a themed gate destination stand out above the rest? What sort of addition can you really add to plus the place up? The answer's obvious, costume characters. And in 1973, oh boy, did Hershey Park have costume characters. All right, we have to like talk about Hershey bars before I can talk about the costume because they're not the same as they were back in the 70s. Original Hershey bars were a completely different thing than what we're eating now. Specifically, they were foil wrapped and then had a nice Hershey paper wrapping around the bar itself. There were multi layers to get to the chocolate. The gray ends of modern Hershey bars represent what used to be foil that wrapped the chocolate, and then the, the middle part was a piece of paper. If you know, you know. No way, bro. I haven't seen a foil wrapped Hershey bar in, I don't know, a, two decades. I don't know, a, two decades. Let me introduce you to Mr. Hershey Bar himself. It looks like the Hershey Bar, right? They took the, uh, the foil wrapper and turned that into the collar of a suit and a small little ascot. What's that, a mascot with an ascot? Uh, and he's got, he's got long chocolatey arms with, with very square fingers, uh, very spooky fingers. And his mouth, it's just perpetually screaming. <laughs> the chocolate screams. He's in pain, he's melting all day long. It's hot outside. His eyes are like bulging out of his head and looking in both directions like a hawk. He's like a well-evolved creature. His range of sight is very broad because there are just people trying to eat him everywhere. He's surrounded by predators. So he's had to evolve to have better eyesight. And the predators are us. <laughs> There's an amazing photo of the guy who's running for like PA Senate, John Fetterman. <laughs> he, sent me, he shared a picture of, uh, of his time in Hershey as a child and uh, old chocolate boy is terrifying. The overall form of this costume is just a bar. It's a rectangle with a guy inside with like two arms coming out of the front of it. It's choices. All that said though, it's still more appealing than the original Mickey Mouse because <laughs> could you imagine if they rolled out the Ice Capades version of this Hershey bar? It looked like someone would have taken, like taken aggressive bites out of the face of it. Don't misconstrue my criticism. It works. It works. Like, like if I would have been to Hershey Park back in the day and I saw this guy wander up, I'd been like, wow, you know, it works. It's cool. It's just, in hindsight, it's a horror. Here's what's fun about Hershey is that they rebrand the chocolate bars like every decade. And with the rebranding and the new marketing material comes new costumes. So in 1985, we got a refresh of the Hershey bar and, and it is, well, he became a vampire. So with this version of the Hershey bar, we finally lay into the segmented pieces of the Hershey chocolate bar itself, which are more commonly known as pips. 
Don't ask me what it stands for, what it means. It's a factory term. I Googled it a lot. I don't know if it's an acronym. I don't know if it's just it's just some some drunk guy who pulls the pip bar back in the day. He's just, hell, I'm the lemma pips. I don't know what it is, but they're called pips, those little pieces that you can break off. I don't know why I went to an alcoholic running the chocolate machines. <laughs> His eyes, his nose, even his feet have become the squared pips of chocolate. Honestly, this version of Hershey's shoes are the best ones out of all of them. I, 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 because just like he's got chocolate feet, that makes the most sense. His eyes are, are, are interesting because the way that they play with the pupil, it's like a little ball of chocolate inside of like a square box. So as the character's moving around, like the eye has like, has some depth and, and makes it more horrifying, honestly. The collar is so weird. Like we really leaned into the foil wrapped collar storytelling. I mean, again, it just makes him look like a vampire. And what I like about it is the costume, he's got foil lettering. Like the Hershey's milk chocolate, that's foil and shiny. So he's out in the sun, you know, he, he pops. We got rid of those weird square fingers and just gave him gloves, white gloves, like a Disney park character. I know what they were going for. In theory, it works, right? Like a Hershey's got three segments across the, the you know, the width of the bar. But now, but now he just looks like E.T. His eyes are too far apart, man. It's just too spooky. E.T. phone home. Wandering around a town that makes chocolate, there, there's some delicious smells to be consumed. And speaking of consuming delicious smells, why don't you guys head over to magiccandlecompany.com and use promo code DisneyDan15 to get 15% off your favorite theme park smells. Time to go to the 90s where everything was cool, radical dude, awesome. Hey, do you got one of those kangaroo hats? Cause I've got 12. The 90s, man. They just love those kangaroo hats. And so did the Hershey bar. Doesn't it look like he's wearing one of those Samuel L. Jackson Kanga hats? It does. It 1000% does. Look at this hip chocolate boy. He's loving his life. This is just the weirdest one. And, and like that's saying something considering the last one we just saw. This is the weirdest one because like they put a hat on him and I, I don't know why. Like he, he I, I just don't like, is it to make him cooler? Like, I don't understand what the hat is supposed to do. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, everyone's wearing backwards hats in the 90s, I guess. I don't know. So I guess at this point, the Hershey bar itself was about 90 years old, right? Hershey opened in like 1900 or something like that. And you know what? They nailed it. Cause this looks like a 90 year old man pretending to be young and hip. <laughs> this Hershey bar looks like he's wandering around narking on people doing illegal business. You know, this is a snitch Hershey bar. I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. <laughs> Hello fellow, uh, fellow candy fans. <laughs> I too like your sweet treats. Maybe it's because it's the red eyes. He's got like these terrifying chocolate eyes. They're just not right. They just don't sit well in my heart. And did he get weird silver eyebrows? What is that about? They just went hard on the silver on this one. There's just silver anywhere they could put it from the eyebrows to the toes. This look bridges the gap into the modern Hershey bar look. If it wasn't for this weird one, we wouldn't have the modern Hershey bar that we have today. Hey, have you been? Watching our Hershey Park adventures over at Please Stop Vlogging? Please stop vlogging and instead watch Kenny and I adventure at Hershey Park. <laughs> Welcome to the double lots. Y2K came and went, and with that came new sensibilities to the Hershey Park mascot division. This is where modern costume sensibilities finally showcase some really clean, bright lines and designs that you see like at like a Disney World. Like this is a really nice costume. He's cartoony, he's cheeky, and the hat works way better than it ever did before. I don't know why. <laughs> they gave him a facelift, I guess is why. He doesn't look like a 90 year old man wearing a, like a, a baseball cap backwards. The pips are dropped now in favor of a completely flat face. This is just now a square costume wearing a Hershey bar design. The eyes are more open and animated and inviting. It's got more of a cartoony face. It's fun, it, it, it's inviting, it's personable. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a chocolate man. This welcoming and inviting face was kind of rolled out across the board with all of the mascot candy characters at Hershey Park. They all started to look a little bit better come the double lots. All their faces, they're all more, much more approachable, much more refined and cleaner. And we're gonna get into these guys. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about all the candy children soon. 
the Jolly Rancher costume at the time weirdly had toes. I don't know why. It's the only... <laughs> and there's like a promo shot of his toes like at the beach, like the boardwalk or whatever, like the water park. It's like, I don't need to see... I'm not... I don't need any of this. I don't need to know what Jolly Rancher's toes taste like. That's not a thing I ever needed to think about. It's also important to mention here that they changed the chocolate world Hershey Chocolate Tour signage for each one of these new designs, more or less. The statue budget's out of control at Hershey Park. Welcome to the 2010s, which I like to call the era of the Pixar chocolate. That's right, all of the chocolate becomes sweet CGI treats. We redo Chocolate World, and now we have an anthropomorphic icebreaker. Did we need an anthropomorphic icebreaker? I'm not sure, but we've got it now. Welcome to the 2010s. Everyone gets blue eyes. It is just like Mickey blue eyes left and right. It's just, and you know what? Blue eyes and chocolate, they go together perfect. These look so cute. They look so inviting. They look so darn, I just want to take a bite out of them, but I won't because that would be murder. <laughs> Hershey's new look has a bit of a picture frame design as if he is one giant pip or one giant Hershey bar and then his face is in the middle of it. But you know what? I like it because the previous version just was a flat design. This added ridge around the face of the Hershey bar gives him depth, makes him more fun. His costume is, is really pulled back. We take a lot of the accents, the silver, the white, all the craziness out of it, and he just has a very monochromatic look. He's got brown shoes, brown pants, his arms and hands, like everything is just very clean and monochromatic. It's a very efficient costume design. We even lose the foil collar because foil isn't part of Hershey Candy anymore. <laughs> it's amazing. We're still printing the bars with this little gray strip across the top. It merely makes you feel like he's 100% chocolate. Like the, the white gloves and then just all the rest of the monochromatic look, he just feels like a chocolate bar. And this costume is versatile. It's not too big, it's not too bulky, it's very controlled, it has really great arm placement, and you can do a lot with it. It gets dressed up and goes to parties constantly. There's Halloween events, there's Christmas events in the park, there's always new looks and different things that they're doing with these characters. And I, I'm just like, I'm honestly like obsessed with Hershey Park now because of this little journey I just went through. Because this is some really high-end costuming from a small little park in Pennsylvania. This isn't Disney World. I mean, sure, they're operating with a global chocolate budget. This park's operating on its own and doing really, really cool stuff with these costume characters, like for decades. So I wanna know if you guys go to Hershey Park regularly and if you've met any of the candy characters, let me know on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, TikTok, Twitch. I'm all over the place. I wanna hear all of your Hershey Park stories. I wanna see all of your pictures when you meet the candy. I'm sure that there's even some of you team members out there who have been the candy. I have some of you have reached out to me to tell you some of my stories. I just, I love hearing from all of you guys. So please reach out, tell me all of your wonderful Hershey Park stories. And as always, guys thanks for watching it's been it's been awesome you rock this picture here it's the hershey bar standing in front of a solid Hershey creation of him of chocolate. So it's, well, it's a, it's an, it's a, it's they're, well, they're both chocolate, but you can only eat one and you have to guess which one. And everyone takes a bite. I think that's what this event was. <laughs> I loved it. It's, it's a chocolate bar and it's a chocolate, it's a chocolate, you know, you get it. It works. <laughs>